Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today we are going to have a talk about this uh, fusion project with uh, Punica Granatum, a uh, pomegranate. And uh, well, let's, uh, let's have a look from closer. So as you can see, the tree uh, grew qu quite well and um, well, it is now time to uh, cut back all the new growth and get rid of all the raffia and the wires that are around it so this of course might uh, take a while and uh, that's what I'm gonna do now and then we'll see what we find under the raffia and what needs to be done next all of the upward growing branches will now be cut back and I'm going to uh, put them in uh, water because uh, as I heard uh, it is not too difficult to uh, root cuttings of um, pomegranates so I'm going to take a shot definitely now some of the branches just grew uh, straight up like this one and I'm going to prune back uh, and look to the first pair of um, buds and leave that other did uh, a better job because they emerged uh, lateral branches and these were like like this one and this I'm going to cut back a, a little but the really upward growing uh, branches I'm going to get rid of that like this one because I think that uh, this tree can now be uh, formed with uh, directional pruning pomegranate has uh, two leaves at the same spot one left one right and uh, they will alternate so one left right and one forward backwards uh, how should I uh, explain this so we are going to uh, take our advantage from this and prune back to the places where the growth is in the direction that we want so this might take uh, a while so quite a lot of uh, foliage came off of course and uh, this is uh, what I will not use and I'm going to try to make cuttings from this so they are like uh, 12 centimeters and I left two to three pairs of leaves and I'm just going to stick them uh, in water and see what uh, what will happen so now I have to remove all the wires from this tree and because it's a little tree with lots of wires this might take a while uh, I think I have some cutting in at certain spots but it does not really matter in this stage quite little cutting in maybe you can see it here but this is something that will easily disappear so unwire the tree that's what I need to do now the wires are now removed and uh, I'm going to get rid of all this uh, raffia around the tree so this might take a while also because it's covered in raffia uh, I noticed that I have already uh, some parts that had fused, like this part is fused, it's, it's quite fast. But now just piece by piece removing this raffia that has been on this tree for almost a year now. And uh, well, it, it's slightly rotting, perishing. So this is the, the next step. comes loose quite uh, easily when it's wet it's m a little more difficult at the top part where, uh, where it's dry it took me uh, half an hour to get all the, the raffia uh, from this tree there's uh, still no uh, real fusion on this tree but it would have been a miracle to, to have it so 
I'm not too concerned about that. Now the reason why I wanted to get rid of all this raffia is because I want now new buds to emerge from uh, every uh, part of the tree. And as you can see, without wire and without raffia, the tree stays quite uh, nicely in position. And uh, yeah, I think if I had to do it again, I'd start again with natural raffia, which is a little more difficult to to get rid of when you uh, when you unwire the tree, and when you try to get rid of the raffia, it sticks and it's well, it's not that easy, but. On the other hand, if you miss a bit, well, it, it will rot away in, in the coming year. So now I'm going to uh, wrap this tree in uh, synthetic raffia in order to uh, give it some compression because fusion is all about compression and you cannot fuse trees. This is something I, I really like to, to, to emphasize. You cannot fuse trees by wiring them. You will wound trees by wiring them. That's all you're gonna do. So here I'm applying some synthetic raffia at the the back branch. And as you can see, I'm going to leave this one out. And then leave this one out. And leave this one out, which uh, are. Uh, mostly a uh, new growth and I'm going to tie this as as good as I as I can and then I'm going to uh, do this for this branch this branch and so on and always try to leave, leave some places open here so that uh, new buds can emerge from these spots. So the work uh, for today on this little tree is done. Uh, I added some uh, wires to um, bend the thick branches a little and put them in the right position. These wires will stay on for uh, a month or three, four maybe. Uh, the tree needs a repot. I'm not going to do that today because the tree stayed uh, inside for a uh, whole winter. And I'm going to wait that it um, that the weather is a little better. Then I will put the tree uh, out again, and it will start to back. But and then um, this will be the right time to repot it. So in the meantime, thank you for watching, and see you next time.